All right, guys, welcome to uh, the uh, third lecture for sport marketing. This is uh, strategic sport marketing. Um, really, uh, not a whole lot of announcements to talk about. Um, basically, um, the next slide is going to talk about the, the high points I want you to understand from this lecture and really the idea is for you to get the concept of, you know, how important a mission and values are and how important... Um, being able to do a SWOT analysis is. So um, here's what we're trying to get accomplished today. Understanding the five strategic components of marketing management is the most important thing. Okay, within that we'll talk about SWOT, um, talk about goals, objectives, there'll be a little bit about the five P's, um, but really, you know, put your time into understanding the, the uh, strategic components of marketing. So, um, here's what we're going to go with. Um, the first one is be able to visualize and position your organization with um, the market in mind, meaning understand where your place is in the market you're trying to go in, into. Understand um, you know, what your goals and objectives are. Um, you have to develop a marketing plan after that. Um, and then put your marketing plan in place with the overall goal of your company in mind and then once you have your plan in place don't be afraid to um, you know to constantly evaluate it be willing to change it um, this is kind of just a the process of how this works um, over here on the side are the things that are those five we just talked about and over here are things that would go into that. So, for instance, with um, um, with clarifying goals and objectives, these would be things like doing research, doing um, you know, market segmentation, understanding how your goals would change based on your market. Okay. Um, um, the first one is that you want to identify mission and vision. That's what we're going to do on Thursday. Your company is going to come up with what your mission is, what your vision, what you're trying to achieve. Once you get done with that, you want to perform a SWOT analysis, meaning, you know, what's the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And then once you get that, you can change what your initial goals were, your initial structure was based on what you learned. Um, so what's important about a mission statement? Um, it should focus on long-term vision for your organization. You know, what are you trying to achieve? What are your core values that you want every employee to practice every day? Um, and within this, this helps um, helps employees make decisions because they know they know what you believe in. So, for instance, if honesty is a value for your organization, then your employees would know that they should make honest decisions shouldn't cut corners um, so um, you know having a sound understanding of where you're going as a company will help um, pretty much guide everyday decisions um, doing a SWOT um, you're basically trying to assess what's going on with your environment so you're going to see what the strengths are what are things that you do well that you can leverage? So if you have smart employees, you have a brand new stadium, um, you have good experience, those are strengths. Um, the W's weaknesses, these are areas that you have to overcome. So maybe you don't have good software, good computer systems, maybe you don't have enough people to work. A weakness we have to overcome in sports studies is we don't have enough faculty members. Um, you need to understand opportunities or things that you want to enhance or um, you know capitalize on. So, for instance, um, um, UFC and NASCAR both see women as an opportunity. It's a, it's an untapped market from the standpoint of people who could potentially um, you know watch their events. And threats are things that could derail what you want to do. Maybe um, your fans are expecting more than you can deliver. Maybe um, you know, you have too many teams going on um, in your area. Um, you know, you just have to kind of figure out what's your, you know, what's a threat to your business. And then this is kind of a, just a chart that tells you how to um, 
how to restructure what you're doing. So, you know, strengths, how do I use these strengths to take advantage of these opportunities? It kind of gives you a grid for understanding this. And we'll talk a little bit more about this on Thursday. But right, you want to clarify goals and objectives. Objective. So what is your overall mission? What are your core values? Um, you want to make sure that what you're doing on a daily basis aligns with what you want to do short term and long term and be constantly evaluating these things. So basically what I do on a day to day basis should should move me toward my short term goals and my long term goals. And if it doesn't, then I need to change it. All right, your marketing plan. Um, you got to segment. You, gotta, you can segment by demographic, meaning um, males, females, different races, um, ethnicities. You can do it by location. You can do it by psychographics, meaning um, um, how people uh, want to use, um, you know, how they use products, how, um, um, you know, why they use a product. Okay, do you go to a game because you want entertainment? Do you go to a game because you're a fan? Do you go to a game because your boyfriend or girlfriend goes to a game? Okay, different reasons for everybody. Um, and we'll talk about this escalator concept here in a little bit. Um, but, you know, we want to start by kind of segmenting who we're dealing with. And the way we think of this is, is an escalator. We bring in a fan who is has no clue who we are. They're not aware of us, and we get them to maybe watch us on TV. Maybe we get them to come to a game, and we just steadily move them toward coming to multiple games with the ideal of them being a season ticket holder or, you know, spending a lot of money with us. That's kind of where we're going with this deal. All right, the five Ps. Um, you all know this, guys. I shouldn't have to tell you. Uh, product price, promotion, public relations, place. Um, Panic is not one of them. Um, this is marketing 101 type of stuff, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, understand that you have to have the broad picture in mind. So you want to have support for your marketing plan. You want to have structure. You want to um, understand that um, everybody within an organization is working together meaning the people who are advertising for a product understand what sales are doing, understand what marketing are doing, um, and that'll make a whole the whole organization stronger. We're all working toward one mission. And use their feedback and, and change what we're doing. Okay, we our ultimate goal is to care about them. So um, you know, the main things I wanted you to get out of this is important of, of having some kind of plan, understanding the mission of SWAT, and um, understand that, you know, we want to evaluate and, and ultimately innovate.